Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys have all had a wonderful weekend. It is Sunday evening, July 18th. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I feel like we're halfway done with summer. This makes me crazy because you know I love summer. Oh, I see a whole bunch of you popping in here. Hi, Peggy. Welcome. We've got Lee popping in. I'm going to get us onto my iPad here um, so that I can see your comments when we turn this camera around. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Okay, hang tight. Let's find me. It should just tell me that I'm live on here, right? <laughs> like, doesn't it know? <laughs> oh my gosh, so silly. So very silly. Okay, I think we've got us up here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get so warm tonight. It is very warm here in Menasha, and we haven't turned our air on yet. Like, it's super close. So I'm going to turn my fan on, and you guys tell me if this gives us a lot of grief, okay? I've got it on low, and I hope it's it won't be blowing on my camera like it was the other day. I don't know if any of you were on my live the other day, but it was causing some problems. You guys let me know if that's too much noise over there, but whoo, hot in Wisconsin. I don't want to be a hot mess, right? <laughs> Okay, you guys, we have a whole bunch of fun tonight. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to be doing some cards using the Plentiful Plants suite. And I just started playing with this suite and it is amazing. Like I had so much fun with it this morning. So this morning I got up probably about seven o'clock, which is pretty early for me. And um, I came right into my office. I didn't even go downstairs. <laughs> I came right in my office and started getting stuff done because I knew the kids would want to come over and be by the pool all day, right? So I was able to sit outside with them and then I decided like, oh, I'm so tired. I should go take a nap. So Anna and Scott and the girls were leaving and um, Haley and Jared weren't here. So I'm like, I'll go take a nap. And then as I was coming in the house to take a nap, Haley messaged me and said they were coming over. So that ended that. And um, instead of getting a nap, I played with all the kids today, and um, that darn little Val, she is so stinking cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's just a hoot. So many things new all the time. And um, then instead of a nap, I came in and took a shower, and I feel all refresh refreshed, and I'm not tired anymore, so we'll see, right? It's like, well, we'll see how we do tonight. <laughs> but I should be good. Um, let's see. Last week, as we were doing our live, um, Scott and Anna and some other people were here too, um, but somebody hit Scott's truck. They backed into it as they backed out of a driveway across the street because it was parked out in front of our house. So that kind of sucked, right? But, um, you know, it's always my feeling like, yeah, it's going to be a hassle, but at least the person came up and rang the doorbell and told us that they backed into his truck. So that you know they can pay for the damages. And I said, they make parts every day. My dad used to say that all the time. Don't worry about it, they make parts every day. <laughs> so I kinda like that attitude. It's like, nobody got hurt, everything's fine. It's just a truck, it'll be, it'll be okay. So um, I wanted to give you guys a new John update. John got a tunnel cover for his bed on his new truck. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I was watching him play with it as I was rinsing something out in the sink the other day. And I thought, gosh, you know, John has no idea what a celebrity he is. He has no idea that we give an update. Well, I give you guys an update on him every week. <laughs> I'm sure he would probably be mortified. <laughs> but I thought, yep, John's got a new tunnel cover. And I saw him take his dog out for a walk the other day. So... There you go. Ooh, somebody said it was 91 degrees in um, Colorado. Oh, Cheryl, I'm so sorry. Barb, um, you know, my friend Barb that lives in Wyoming, she messaged us today with a screenshot of the temperatures in their area, and it was 104 today. It's supposed to be 102 tomorrow, and then like 90s the rest of the week there. And she was like, oh my gosh. 
she has to clean their camper out because she's getting ready for a vacation. And so this is the week that she has to clean her camper. <laughs> and I said, Barb, plug it in and turn the air on for Pete's sakes. And I don't think that ever dawned on her. She goes like, that's a great idea. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Because um, when we would pull my summer home into the driveway in the summer, um, if it got too hot in the house, we don't like air conditioning. We would plug the camper in and go sleep out in the camper with the air. Isn't that funny? But anyways, I don't think that dawned on her that she should just turn the air on high and go clean your camper. It'll be fine. Anywho. Um, super exciting news. Steve finally launched his boat this morning. I know you guys. Okay, so get ready for this one. He's had, he bought this boat back in April and we had some problems with the title. The guy couldn't find the title and then um, we had to get it registered and finally got the title and sent all the paperwork in to get it registered. He forgot to send the title with it and then that was a whole thing and then COVID and oh, nobody's in the office and it was just a whole big deal, right? And then we got super busy. We're super busy in the summer, um, just a lot going on. And uh, so he never even put his boat in the water. And so this morning, everybody was giving him a really hard time. We had a party yesterday. Everybody was giving him such a hard time that he like booked a date with Anna's husband, Scott, and granddaughter, Andy, that they would take that boat out this morning. And they did. And Andy caught the first keeper fish. If you guys are friends with me on Facebook, on my story, I've got a picture of Steve. He, he caught a fish. I think he caught the first fish. And then Andy caught the first keeper. And so it was like, it was a beautiful morning on the, on the lake. And um, yeah, so now this week I'm looking forward to a boat ride, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty proud of him, right? Okay. Um, oh, and I wanted to let you guys know that he fixed the light on the garage, which he backed into with the camper, but we're not telling anybody, remember? So that's all fixed. And uh, he got home in time to vacuum the pool yesterday. I was kind of looking at it. He was gone for the weekend. I was looking at the pool. I'm like, gosh, it's kind of got a lot of dirt in the deep end. You know, not a lot, but you know. And I'm like, oh, I don't think I want to vacuum. And then lo and behold, in he comes. He's like, I heard we were having a party. So he didn't stay gone for the weekend. <laughs> and then he vacuumed the pool before everybody got here. So, oh, and when he got done vacuuming, he went to turn the heater back on and he's like, I think the heater's broken. Like it's deteriorating. It's old. We can't really get parts for it anymore. And he's been kind of chewing on me a little bit that we might need to get a new heater for the pool. And I've been like, oh, they're so expensive. But in Wisconsin, you have to have one. And um, I'm like, you know, it was working fine before you vacuumed. So, you know, kind of blaming him a little bit. Not really, but I give him a hard time. And uh, I'm like, you know, maybe the water is up to temperature because it'll only get the water up to 84 degrees. And he's like, no, I think it's broke. And I'm like, whatever. Well, later, or this morning he got up and he flipped the switch on for the heater and it works just fine. So like, don't give me a heart attack like that, mister. All right, you guys. We have so much going on in July. First of all, uh, Wednesday is the deadline to sign up for bingo. If you have never played bingo and made cards with me during bingo, it is so much fun. It's $35 and I give away a ton of prizes in the form of gift certificates so you can order anything you want if you win. But we make a card and then we play bingo and we make a card and we play bingo and we do five cards and four games of bingo. And um, you pick five numbers between 1 and 25, and then I just draw numbers between 1 and 25. And when you get all five of your numbers, you type in bingo. All this happens on YouTube Live. So you have to have a YouTube account. If you can make a comment on somebody's video on YouTube, you have a YouTube account. So if anybody would like to play bingo, you can go out to my blog, www.astampabub.com, and you will find the bingo registration, and all the details. Um, there's also a make and take packet that you get with this so you can make all five cards. And I let you know which stamp sets I'm using. So there's three stamp sets I'm using for bingo. And um, let's see, what do we got? 
Flowers and Friendship is the first bundle. The Hats Off bundle is the second one, and then Watercolor Shapes. And so if you have something similar, you can do your make and takes with that. Or if you have a couple of them, but you don't have like, let's say the Watercolor Shapes, you can add that on to your bingo registration. So it's just a lot of fun. It's something fun to do, and it's all virtual. Oh, Janice says bingo is a blast. She's not one, but she has hope. <laughs> so anyways, that is available to U.S. only. I can't do that globally, but it is fun to get a pack in the mail where you get to make cards. And there's also product included in there. And this month, um, I'm pretty sure that we're going to do a half a pack of adhesive strips and a quarter pack of the party pattern designer series paper and shaker shapes so i'm going to be figuring out a shaker card and it'll be fun so i'm going to let you go to, guys know bingo registration ends on wednesday um and then bingo is played the 28th of july it's always i try to make it always the last wednesday of the month then I also have my In Symmetry class that was just released yesterday, I believe. And you can find all that information on my blog. Great class. It's, um, it's my kit for the month. And next we're going to be doing Plentiful Plants as my online class. And tonight I'm going to show you a couple additional cards that you can make. Um, well, you can make them anyways, but if you order the online class you will have nine more ideas with the plentiful plants. And I just think it's so fun with these online classes that if you have invested in a bundle or a suite, you get this online class and you get all these additional ideas. So you're really using and utilizing um, what you're investing in for your stamping supplies. And I know I always find it helpful to get ideas, right? I'm big on that. Um, let's see, oh, I wanted to let you guys know I had some problems with my emails in June. If you have emailed me in June and you did not receive a response from me, please contact me again. So just some email problems in June and I don't wanna miss anything important. Somebody told me that one of their stamp cases was cracked when it arrived and I can't find the email that that came in so I don't know who it was. Um, if that's you, please reach out to me again. I can replace your stamp case. I have extras and that is exactly what I'll do. I hate to have you sitting there going, wow, she never answered me, but again, email problems. So technology is great, except when it doesn't work right. Um, and then I wanna know, did you guys, are you guys getting your holiday mini catalogs and celebration brochures? Who's gotten them? I've been hearing from people all over the place that they're getting theirs now. I actually have a set sent to me, from me, from Stampin' Up, and I got mine, um, I think, Friday. So they're starting to arrive. It's super exciting. I just love all the products in these new um, mini catalogs and, of course, Celebration. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely. We're going to have fun, fun, fun. Uh, let's see. I've got... Oh, August 3rd is when the um, mini catalogs go live, okay? And then again, during the next two months, August and September, when your order reaches $50, you get to choose something free. So Sandra says she got hers. Yay, I'm so happy. Um, and then last but not least, I rode the bull. <laughs> we got a bull inflatable for the pool. And yesterday I tried to ride it. I shouldn't say I rode the bull. I tried really hard. I gave it my all. And Steve was even on the sidelines. He was rooting for me. He's like, she used to ride horses. Watch out. She can do this. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> I did have an old fashioned before I got on the bull. But I'm telling you, that bull is hard. I did not successfully ride the bull. You know, eight seconds. No. I couldn't even keep it up for like three seconds. Boom, I'd go over. So anyways, it was really fun. The bull is super fun. If you know anybody with a pool or a lake, get them the inflatable bull. It is a hoot. Good, clean fun. All right, we have some prize winners from my last um, Facebook Live. And I always give away a prize for commenting. 
So if you're here and you're lurking in the background, just leave a little comment. You can say hello. You can say hi from, you know, Madison, Wisconsin, or hi, it's 102 here. <laughs> Anything you want, but you need to leave at least one comment so you get entered in the drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have tonight... I am going to be giving away, I have some extras to give away. I'm trying to clean out my stash right now. So I just want to know, I've got extras that are going out here. Um, I have a Calypso Coral ink pad that was donated for me to give away. And also, I'm going to throw in the Whale of a Time sequins. Oh my goodness, you guys, these are so, so pretty. This is for commenting last week. This is going out to Lori Stansberry of Glenwood City, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Lori. These are gonna be on their way tomorrow. Next up, for sharing my video from last week, um, you can click on that share button right now. That really helps me grow my business if you share that to your timeline. I really appreciate it. For sharing last week, I got the da, 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 Dottie Hearts embossing folders. These are the small embossing folders. There's two of them in here. Cute little heart patterns. And this is going out to Lanny Rhodes of Port Charlotte, Florida. These are on their way to you tomorrow. And then I'm also going to throw in some silver foiled um foil edge cards and envelopes. So a whole pack of them here. And we were cleaning out some stuff, getting ready to bring in the holiday mini catalog pre-order that I got. <laughs> we won't tell Steve anything about how much stuff I ordered. No, um, he doesn't care. Anyways, um, so I found these in there and they're on their way to Lanny. Congratulations, that was for sharing. Last but not least for placing an order with me during the week, I have a uh, brand new customer, Darlene Laremore of Honolulu, Hawaii. And Darlene is going to get the Gangs All Mirror. Again, cleaning stuff out and I found this brand new from Celebration mm, a couple years ago maybe. I don't know, but it was super duper. This is like one of the funnest little stamp sets. Thank you so much for your order, Darlene. That will be out in the mail to you tomorrow also. Don't forget, Designer Series Paper Sale is going on until August 2nd. 15% off on nine different packs of Designer Series Paper. And when you go to my online store, they all pop up right there. Um, it'll tell you exactly what's on sale. I'm going to get things plugged in here and make sure that I'm good to go. I think I have my lighting figured out for my desktop now. I was getting a lot of shadowing and weird stuff going on, but I think I have it all figured out now, so I'm excited. You guys let me know what you think, okay? Okay. I think that's it. Oh, and don't let me forget to show you my mail. I got some amazing cards in the mail. I got some gifts that I need to share with you. Um, lots of really pretty stuff, so don't let me forget, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready to turn this around and start stamping. What am I gonna do first? Let me see. Um, one of the packs of paper that is on in the designer series paper sale is the bloom where you're planted. Oh, let me turn this around so you can see how gorgeous this is. Hang on just a second. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes until I tell you it's okay to open them. I don't want anybody throwing up. This is not a roller coaster. Okay, let me get my lighting in here. I think we're good. Make sure that I've got this centered so I know where I need to stay. All right, I think we're good, you guys. You can open your eyes. We are ready to roll. And let me see, swipe left. To reveal comments there we go okay i am good i'm gonna put my real glasses on i still haven't gone and gotten any new glasses <laughs> i'm kind of weird like that right okay bloom where you're planted absolutely gorgeous gorgeous paper i just started playing with this today and i had so much fun you guys i can't even tell you this paper's gorgeous these dyes are amazing and i'm just gonna 
get that out of the way here. So what I like to do a lot of times with my dies, and especially when I'm gonna be working with an online class, is I will take all the dies and I will um, die cut them and put them on a piece of paper like this so that I can see exactly what I have going on. And so that's what I did here. Lots of dies in here. This pack comes with 14 different dies and they are very succulent. <laughs> How's that for a little play on words, right? Very succulent, I love them. Okay, and then I've got all my ink colors here. So let me just get all of these out. We're gonna be doing a little bit of embossing. Here comes our gorgeous stamp set. And I got a couple more stamps here. Okay, here we go. What should we make first? Well, first of all, I should probably tell you what we have going on for my online class. So the online class, if you order option one, you get the class for free. You're also going to get a pack of pre-cut cardstock to make nine cards. You get all videos for each card. You get instructions. You get photographs um, in a PDF file. You can make them at your leisure. It's very cool. But in option number one, you get the bundle, the stamp set, and the dies. You're going to get a full pack of the Bloom Where You're Planted designer series paper. You're going to get a pack of the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. Also a full pack of Genial Gems, as well as the Macrame 3D Embossing Folder with your nine cards in the free online class. Now, if you already have this beautiful folder, you can um, substitute anything for $9 to go with your option number one. Option number two for the online class is going to give you, let me look at my notes here so I don't tell you anything wrong. It's gonna get you the Essential Twine Pack. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. Here we go, we forgot. Uh-oh, where'd they go? Um, hang on, I lost them. Oh, here they are, they were under some paper. The paper lattice also included with option one. Option two, you get the paper lattice, half a pack. You get a half a pack of the Genial Gems and a full pack of the Essential Twine with all the cardstock to make nine cards, videos, and all the things, okay? So that's option number two. That is $48. Or, and that's all only for the U.S. If you're global, if you're outside the U.S., you can buy the PDF file for $20. But I have to tell you, you can join... Stamp Happy Academy, that is our subscription website. We put four new online classes on there every month. This is one of them. You can get a basic membership for $19.95 or a premium membership for $34.95 and this PDF file will be included on there. So, all kinds of good stuff happening there. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to bring out this card first and I'm going to make this for you and there's kind of a funny little story behind it. Now, I don't know about you guys, whoops, hang on. But when I'm having, um, when I have a brand new suite like this, one of the things that I like to do is maybe go into the catalog and kind of look around a little bit. And, and I'll explain that because that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, let me put this over here. Here comes all of our layers. Okay. So what I mean by that is I like to have a lot of samples to show you. And one of the best places for samples is our catalog. We always have some beautiful samples in here. So I thought what I do is I would grab some cardstock and I'd make some of the samples that are shown in the catalog. So I had real cards to show you. And then we would make some cards tonight. Well, what I found is when I was work making the first sample, I'm like, you know, this is not real straightforward as I looked at that card. Like, I, I don't think this is that easy to make. And there's a lot of tips when I made this card that I could share with all of you. And so that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I am casing the catalog and I'm gonna share some really neat tips with you about making this card. So. We have cinnamon cider, and this was four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
bring in my paper trimmer and I've got a piece of the beautiful Bloom Where You're Planted brick paper. This is four and a quarter by five. And I'm going to put it in my paper cutter and I'm gonna cut it off at an angle. So I'm gonna just put it in here and I'd say it's probably like maybe an inch. I, I'm cutting an angle of, of an inch off here. So I'm just gonna cut that off just like that. And then this is what we have. Weird, right? <laughs> Then I thought, oh, that'd be kind of hard to put a layer behind this and then make it perfect like that. We'd have to glue it on there and do all the things. Then I thought, no, no, no. Let's just take a half inch strip of Just Jade. We'll add a little bit of glue behind the angled cut that we just made. And this is just a half inch by five and a half. I'm gonna kind of put it right in the middle here and I like to put my um, layers on to stuff like this, this way, because now I can see, did I get it even all the way across here? Yep, it looks pretty good. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna add it right to our card front. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a gap up at the top so we can see that cinnamon cider background or card base, I should say. Let me see if I can get this straight. There we go. Put this on here straight. Look at that. Okay, now we've got these two pieces sticking out and I am just going to come back here and give them a good little trim. Oh, I see I got a little bit more to trim right here. Because that'll make me crazy. I don't know about you guys, but that'll make me like go, mm, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> there we go, okay, kind of neat looking, right? Now, I've got some scraps here, but before we start on our scraps, we've got this white layer. And this white layer is two and seven eighths by four and a half. And I'm gonna bring in my stamp set. When I start working with a new um, bundle or suite of products, I always like to kind of mount all the stamps so they're ready to go and I don't have to fuss around when I'm in my creative mode. I'm gonna take some Memento Black ink and I've got the sentiment that says, you were there and I am very grateful. What a nice little um, thank you sentiment, I think. And this could be applied for a lot of things, I think. And we're going to stamp that right on the bottom of this layer. Uh, where'd my lid go? Right here. Okay. And then we are going to grab the garden green. I really like all the colors in this paper. And one of the nice things is I make my cards based on the colors that are in the designer paper. So we've got Cajun Craze, Cinnamon Cider, Evening Evergreen, Garden Green, Gray Granite, Just Jade, and Basic White. So that's where all of my colors are coming from here. So I'm going to take my Garden Green and this, whoops, let's move this over here. This little hanging plant, I don't know what you would call this. It's a succulent that, you know, you see them at the stores, right? <laughs> and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right about here on my white layer set that over there so I know that I have to um, clean it. Then we've got some scraps here. I've got Just Jade, Garden Green, and Cinnamon Cider. And I'm going to grab my pot that is round and my Cinnamon Cider ink. And I'm going to stamp that. And I think that's the only one that we're going to stamp. So now I'm gonna grab my dies here. Okay, hang on a second because oh, I, thought I, I thought I had these all cut, but I don't. So that's okay because we'll do that together. Okay, here comes our pot. We've got a die for that. And then I'm going to use this particular die to 
die cut a garden green and also a just jade. And then we need a piece of gray granite. Hang on, I gotta grab a piece of gray granite. I don't have that ready. Here's a piece of gray granite and we're going to do the hanging macrame basket, okay? So let me get my little machine in here. Here we go. I like this little die cutting and emboss machine. It works really nice. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna take this little leaf die and we are going to cut that out. I like to use just some temporary tape or some washi tape that you have. Take a little sticky off of it. Do it on your clothes a few times and pull it up so it's not, oh, I'm not gonna die cut that, sorry. So that it's not um, over sticky. Do not die cut this. Gosh, I'm glad I caught myself with that. We're gonna do this one. This is the one I need to stick in place so it doesn't move on me. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put that right in. Whoops, it just came loose, hang on. See, this is why I die cut ahead of time so that you guys don't have to sit and watch me do this. Because we all kind of know how to put a die on paper and cut it, right? Yeah, most of us do. If you're a beginner, this is a great, you get some great little lessons here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hope that everything stays in place there. And there's our little basket. You get these put away, I don't want to lose anything. Here is our little Here's our little, our little spiky deal right there. And then we need one more of these in garden green. And there we go. So here's our other green one. Let me get that put away, this put away. Another thing I think it's a really good good idea to do is just to go through and die cut, stamp and die cut several of these in several different colors. And that's a lot of fun to start creating with when you do that. Okay, we've got our macrame hanger here. Who remembers macrame? Like, did you do this when you were in school? Did you do macrame? I did a lot of macrame. I actually made a table that hung in the corner and it had a big piece of glass on it. Like I was obsessed with macrame, it was so fun. And thank you very much, was it Cheryl that just said please, yep, Cheryl, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. That really helps too in all the analytics that go with all the crazy Facebook stuff. So thank you, thank you for that reminder. Now, first thing I'm gonna do here, I love this set of Baker's Twine. You get five different colors in here, okay? One of them is um, gray granite, and we're using gray granite, so that's gonna be perfect to use as our string to hang from our basket, and I'll do that in just a minute. Now, we've got our little pot here, and we're going to set our little pot right down here in our macrame. But if you'll notice, the, um, I'm casing the catalog, and what they did is, does anybody see my scissors? I just used them. <laughs> Here they are. Oh my good lord, they were right there. Okay, so what they did in the catalog is they took this and they cut it off. And as I started casing this card, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder if people realize that this is just this simple. Because I was kind of looking at it going, how did they get that macrame thing? And it's like, well, because they cut this. So we're going to just cut this off. And of course, you want to cut it so that it doesn't look all jaggedy, like, like there's a piece missing from it, right? So here we go. Now we're going to take this, and I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to this back. 
Whoops, that was too much. Oops, a little bit down here maybe, and a little bit. I just got, I got this on my fingers, so spread it around a little bit. Here comes my baby wipes. So nobody needs sticky fingers when we're trying to make pretty things. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna take this and we're going to put it on our pot, just like this. So this is what we have. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add in our plants. And I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue at the bottom of both of these. These are like spiky little succulents. Oh, there went the dye on the floor. So I'm gonna come in and grab that little dot of glue there. And then we'll grab this little dot of glue here. Okay, let me pick up my dye before I forget about it. Oh my gosh, stepping on things. And things are happening. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay, um, then we're gonna take some dimensionals. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dimensional right here. And then maybe some of our little ones. I'll do one here. And one here, just for a little extra support. All right, now I'm gonna take a piece of this gray granite, Baker's twine, and we're gonna thread it through our hanging macrame hanger dealy. <laughs> you guys love it when I make up all these words. Or is it just totally annoying? Like, oh my Lord, what is she gonna say next? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just took the back off my dimensionals. Now what we're gonna do, this that we stamped in here, we're gonna bring this little bugger right in here and look at this. We're just gonna center this. Look at how cute that is with those plants coming out the back on the sides, right? We're gonna take this and we're going to simply tape it on the back. I just got some regular old tape here. Just like that. Isn't it cute? I love this. Okay, enough about my love. <laughs> now we're gonna put this on dimensionals. So as I was making this card, I just planned on making it so I could have a finished card to share with you and show you. I decided that it was worth making with you so that you could see all these good little tips for making a card like this. The half inch strip here was like, a, oh yeah, that's a great idea. And then putting the string through here and stamping that in the background, all very, very cool. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down. You can put this any place you'd like on your card front. I'm gonna put mine right here. And then in addition to that, I'm going to add a few of these genial gems because they match and why wouldn't you? Add a little bling. You could use the green ones or the kind of peachy gold ones. Isn't that pretty? Okay, next up, one thing that Stampin' Up! Oh, that's an envelope. Oh, we gotta do an envelope. Hang on. Let me grab um, a card inside because I definitely want to do something on the inside. We don't get to see the inside of Stampin' Up!'s cards and try as hard as I can to get Stampin' Up! to do the insides of their cards. They just will not listen to me. And of course, I'm completely kidding. I have never told them to do the insides of their cards. <laughs> we'll do them together. Here's our black memento ink with that pretty little thank you font. And then I'm gonna come in with this big pot and my cinnamon cider. And I'm going to stamp that right down here. Whoops, hang on, I kinda missed the boat there. Let's see how good I am. Oh, look at that, perfect. Whew, I am a professional. <laughs> I just like to say that, it's funny. Um, <laughs> here comes our garden green ink and this big, big leafy plant. And I'm gonna come in here. Oh, perfect matchup. Again, professional, don't try this at home. No, I'm kidding. 
absolutely try this at home. And remember, it's just paper. So if it doesn't come out perfect, turn it over, try again, grab a new piece. It's not a big deal, right? Look at how cute that is. Okay, this is gonna be for the inside of our card. And I'm gonna bring that right over here. And then we have one more thing to do before we are done with our delicious little card. Oh, hang on, my computer is not muted. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade. And can I just tell you that Steve bought a new bottle because I actually left his in Arizona a couple years ago. He had a black one, I had a blue one. And um, he bought a new bottle and he was so excited about it. <laughs> and I know I'm really mean for laughing. He went to, to go up to, um, we, we call our property South Park because it's south of my mom's house and we kind of think South Park is funny. We have a cat named Kyle after South Park. And anyways, um, this bottle that he bought, this is an envelope by the way, this bottle that he bought, it doesn't fit in any of the holders. Like it doesn't fit in the boat holder, it doesn't fit in the truck holder, it doesn't fit in my Explorer holder, and he's really quite upset about it. And I feel really bad for him because he was so excited about the bottle. And of course, you know, he paid like $20 for it because they're not cheap. And it doesn't fit in anything. <laughs> Poor guy. He got rained out of golf three times last week. His bottle doesn't fit in any of the holders. He can't even win, right? He's got his wife harassing him about the dirt in the pool and telling everybody that he hit the garage with the camper. Don't tell him. I told you. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Look at how cute. Look at how cute that pot is with those little spiky, you know, those spiky little plant things. We see them all the time. Isn't that adorable? And I simply case the catalog. So here's what I have to say to you. If you need to get your creative juices flowing, my biggest advice to you is first of all, mount all the stamps for the set. Just get them all mounted so it's easy to stamp with. The next thing that I would love to see you do that makes it easy is just die cut a bunch of images in various colors. And if you don't happen to use the images, throw them in the case. I've got a whole bunch of pieces in here now. Throw them back into the um, the die case and you can use them for something else, right? Don't, oh here, I'm gonna put this one. I got, I have this one in here. Oh, here's another one. This one over here, I'm gonna throw these in here so I can use them for some other cards that I make. But last but not least, Pull out your catalog and whatever stamp set or bundle that you've ordered, just start making the cards that they show you in the catalog. That gets my creative juices flowing. And once you start to work with the different pieces, like I thought it was really cool cutting these off, but I don't know that I would have thought to do that if I hadn't been, um, I don't even know how I did this, if I hadn't been watching the case from the catalog. I'm like, oh, how did they get that? Oh, they cut these off, that's cool. So I wouldn't even have done that. But anyways, this is our first card using the Plentiful Plants tonight. I love it. And there's a lot of really good tips in there that you can, whoops, you can now use on other cards. Like you can trim that up and go, oh, that's a good idea to trim that up, right? That was Stampin' Up's idea, not mine. Okay, let me clean up these stamps. You guys take a drink of your beverage. I hope you guys had something good for supper. I didn't eat supper yet, so hope that we, oops. Oh look, this just fell off my bulletin board. A person's a person no matter how small. This is Val's hand. Look at, and her daycare, Brooke, so sweet, turned it into a little elephant. Okay, look, I'm done bragging now. Well, you'll probably hear more. Okay, we are going to make another really, really cute card. And this is where we're gonna do a little embossing. So let me just set this aside now. All these little bits and pieces. Oh, I know, I wanted to show you before I get too far, that macrame embossing folder. How many of you have this already? 
this thing is so cool. Like, look how cool that is. I just think it's the neatest thing ever. I did it in um, cinnamon cider and also the Just Jade, and I absolutely love it. It looks great from either side. But this is the folder that's included with option one of this class. If you already have it and you get option one, you can choose anything else for $9 from the catalog. Okay, this next card is totally cool. Let me get all my bits and pieces out here. We got a lot going on with this bugger. But I think that's part of the fun and the charm of this whole suite is that you can do so much stuff. Oh, my little, oh there was my card inside that I couldn't find before. Huh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off with, this is just Jade and it is five and a half by eight and a half, and we're gonna fold it in half. <laughs> Melanie says, get it out, Carrie. I don't know what Carrie said. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you guys very much for all your kind comments. Okay, um, what am I gonna do here? I am going to, first of all, let's do our envelope. Two and a half by six, this beautiful, beautiful designer series paper. Remember what I said, this paper, by the way, you guys, is part of the Designer Series paper sale. So you save 15% um, before the before August by August 2nd. And all of these papers are super pretty. But I think this one and the in symmetry mm, and the hand penned, oh my gosh, where do I stop? I can't stop, they're all fabulous. Two and a half by six inches will go right over our envelope flap. And then all you do is take your scissors and trim it off, just like this. Yeah. So I have to tell you guys, yesterday I made the prettiest little dessert. Did I share it on my Facebook story? I can't remember. But um, I made a truffle with strawberries and homemade whipped cream from whipping cream and vanilla pudding and angel food cake. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty that is. Okay, so our envelope is done. Next up, let's see, what am I gonna do here? Um, I'm gonna do our paper lattice next. This is very cool. Okay, um, there's my scrap of paper right here. Okay, so I've just got a piece of typing weight paper. It's a scrap and I'm just using it so I don't get my my surface all messy here. What we're gonna do is we, I, I saw some cards where this was white. This paper lattice was white and I'm like, oh, the back must be white. So the front is like a kind of a crumb cake or a cinnamon color and the back must be white, but guess what, it's not. So how do we make it white? We emboss it and this was way easier than I thought it was going to be. So here we go, Versamark ink, and I've got this just on a piece of paper, and I'm going to get ink all over it. And then we are going to hit it with embossing powder. So let's see what is gonna be the easiest way to do that. I've got mine in a bowl. You do whatever you have to do to get it sufficiently covered. Oh my gosh, that turned out really good. Before I was spooning it on, that wasn't as nice. Okay, now I'm gonna spoon it on where I touched it right down here because you know that powder comes right off if you touch it. I think that worked out pretty good. <laughs> Better than when I made my sample because I was playing around today trying to figure all this stuff out. Okay, now we are going to hit this with a heat tool. So be patient, because I didn't want to do this ahead of time. I wanted you to actually see it happening. So now what are we going to talk about? Huh. Let's see. My Stephanie, my stepdaughter Stephanie, is one of the lead singers in a band. And it's like a country rock band, party band. And they are so fun to watch. They're called, oh my gosh, um... I'll have to think of it. I just asked Anna because I can never, the Dwellers. Oh my gosh, I can never remember that name. 
They're called the Dwellers, and for any of you in Wisconsin, they are playing at the Washington County Fair this Thursday night from, I think, 8 to 12. And so Anna and I are going to West Bend, Wisconsin to see Stephanie's man play, and she's got a new song that she's playing. She had to go take trumpet lessons so that she could play this new song. So we're super excited, and oh my gosh, her voice is so rich and beautiful. Anybody in uh, the Milwaukee area, go to the Washington County Fair this Thursday and see The Dwellers. Yay! Okay, so I'm just going to take a look at this and make sure that it is all heat set. But look at that. Now we have a white lattice, and I thought that was super cool, right? Okay, so we are going to take... Oops, hang on. I think I just... Oh, I set it aside, I believe. Is that the right size? Yep, I think it is. Okay, we are going to take a gray granite piece. And this piece, it says it's four by five and a quarter, but I don't... I think I changed that. Oh, this isn't the right piece. Hang on. Hang on, I got to get a different... I don't know what I did with it. It's wrong. <laughs> I can't be giving you wrong information. That's just not okay. What about this? This looks like it's four by five and a quarter. Let's see. Nope, it's a little bit bigger. So we're gonna cut some gray granite to four by five and a quarter. Good Lord, Kelly. I do have to tell you guys, I'm pretty proud of myself because I got all these cards designed and I even took photographs and edited them and put my watermark on them and I have my blog post ready to go. All I need to do is download this video tonight. <gasps> I know, Kelly is ahead of the game for once. I say that every once in a while. It's not just once, but mostly I'm not. <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna do. Four by five and a quarter gray granite. And I just thought this looked pretty behind here with the colors that we're going to use. So hang on, I got a little blue dot there. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. This thing is so handy for so many things. We're going to put glue on here so that we can then adhere it to here. So I'm going to take and just squiggle some glue over here and we're going to take a sponge dauber and we are going to go around the outside of my lattice because that I need some glue on there so it'll stick. Don't let your lattice move. You don't want glue to get on the front of it from the little splotches we're doing right here, right? There we go. Here we go. Get that out of the way. We're going to bring this in and we are going to get this. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at how cool that is. Ah, do you guys love it? I just thought this was really neat looking. Oh, I got it a little crooked, but you'll forgive me, right? Oh, I think I got her straightened out. Okay, then, now we've got all these little scraps. So, let's make sure that stays down. Let me put this to the side. I'll put this to the side. Oh, and by the way, on your silicone mat, this glue, um, this glue will just dry and you just rub it off. What did somebody just ask me? Are those gold on one side and silver on the other? Oh, the paper lattice? That's a great question. They are not. They are brown on both sides. You get 10 of them in a package for $6. They are on back order right now, but they are orderable, which means if you put in an order, you'll get, they'll send them when they're ready. But they're brown. They're brown. And I just embossed them with white embossing powder. So any color of embossing powder that you have, you can make these any color you want. I think that's what you were asking me. Okay, um, I need to get a little bit more glue on the back of here because that is not sticky. There we go. <laughs> that's how you do that. All right, now we're gonna do a little stamping. And I've got quite a few things going on with this particular card. We're gonna do a lot of planty things, lots of planty things. Okay, cinnamon cider and the big pot. So we're gonna do cinnamon cider on cinnamon cider. Got that done. Um, then we're gonna grab our garden green and we're gonna do this big plant on garden green. Just like that. And 
Then we need two of those little spiky deals. Where did those go? Here they are. And we're gonna do both of those in garden green on basic white. Two spiky deals. There we go. Okay, are you guys with me? Boom, 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 boom. Then we have some jade and we are going to use the black, let's see, can I use black? Yeah, I think I used black ink for our sentiment. So we're gonna take this designer paper. Oh, and by the way, the dies will cut these out. The pot dies will cut out the paper also. So just know that. But we're gonna take this and we are going to, oh, hang on. We're going to need a label die. And these are the tasteful label dies. And so I am going to grab this one right here. And we are going to die cut this. We're going to, hang on, here comes our dies. We're gonna die cut our macrame pot thing out of this Just Jade. We are going to die cut our big hairy leaf. <laughs> I don't know why I call it that, out of this. And, oh, here's our little, oh, nope, that's not our little spiky deals. Here they are. Here's the little spiky deals. We have a die for that, so we've got boom, boom, boom. And then these little tiny things on here, we're gonna do those on the cinnamon cider. We need two of them, and just our luck, Stampin' Up! gave us two dies that are exactly the same. Love you, Stampin' Up! Thank you for doing that. Okay, we're gonna die cut all of this stuff. Okay, hang on. Because you know, through the magic of TV, that I have already done all that. Like I said, just die cut a bunch of stuff so you can just play and place and make cool cards. Okay, I also die cut an extra label out of the Just Jade. So we're gonna actually stamp our sentiment on the designer series paper because this is kind of a mellow pattern. I thought this would be really cool. Let me get this straight, so hang tight. There we go, I used black ink. Now we're gonna take this label, that just, it's the same size as this one, and we're gonna cut it in half and spread it out so we can give our label a really nice border. I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna add some glue at the top, and in the second we're gonna add some glue to the bottom. We're gonna just, whoops, just gonna line this up so we have a colored border on top of and the bottom of this label. So there we go, did that. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. And a little tip for this is to take a look at the back and try to get that the same distance because then you know it's straight, it's not all crooked on the front, right? I don't know, I just do that a lot. Okay, dimensionals. Are you guys with me? Is anybody sleeping? Oh, I could use my little unicorn from Magical TV. Where is that guy? Oh, he's right here. He is never far away. Yes, Magic of TV. I love it. So, funny little story. Every Wednesday afternoon, um, Dina Barb and I do live training with our team. And um, we cover everything from, you know, how to find your order once you've started it but didn't finish it on the demonstrator website and how to access catalogs and how to do all the things. And also business building type things. But most of, most of the time we're answering, um, you know, other types of questions. Anyways, hang on, I'm thinking and trying to work at the same time. So the other day, usually when we start off our training call, we kind of try to wait for everybody to come on the call, right? So we have some, some downtime where we're just chit-chatting and, you know, seeing what everybody's up to and whatever. The other day, 
um, it was really funny when one of us produced the unicorn. I'm going to take just a little piece of tape and tape it onto my stem to get it onto my pot. And then we're going to use um, dimensionals on our pot too. But anyways, um, within a millisecond, all three of us, Barb, Dina, and I all had our unicorns out. And somebody said, it is so funny that you guys keep those so close that you could do that that quickly. And we all giggled because it was really funny. But yeah, we don't, our unicorns don't get too far from us. Okay, so now for um, this particular little pot thing, can you see that? We're going to put the little spiky deals in there. And so the way that I did that is I put a little bit of glue on my pot. And then I just made sure I hit it with my little spiky plant, just like that. And then you can kind of turn it over and adjust it so it's straight. You don't want your plant to be all crooked. Yeah, that's not the type of plants that we grow here. So, <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Oops, let's lay that down and bring my little plant into it. Then we're going to put dimensionals on the back. So, this is just kind of to hold it in place temporarily. And um, I'm going to try a big dimensional. Yep, that'll work. And another one right there. Yay. Okay, so we got that and that and then this and this. Now we have this guy. We're going to take this and we're going to put it right over our pot. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. This is Just Jade, by the way. Cut out of Just Jade. So I'm just going to put some little glue dots where the macrame holder intersects. And I'm thinking that's going to be just fine. One thing you're going to notice is that your pot has a little rim on it. I don't know if you can really see it, but can you see the little edge sticking out? If you don't like that, just trim it off. So I'll show you how to trim it off. If otherwise, if you don't care, it's no big deal. But I'm going to trim this a little bit too because I got it crooked. Look at how cute that is, you guys. Is that just to die for? Yeah. Mother-in-law tongue, mother-in-law's tongue plants. Oh, that's very interesting. I did not know that. Okay, here comes our card front. I'm going to put it on our Just Jade card base. Like I said, once you have all your plants die cut and stamped, then it's all the fun is assembly. Whoops, here we go. Okay, I am going to place my sentiment first, just to make sure that I have plenty of room for it. And that's gonna go right down here in the center, just like that. And now here comes my big plant. Get all my little backings on. And we're going to put the big plant right up here. Just like that. Oh my gosh, isn't it just super cute? And then, <laughs> thanks, George said, George Terry said, nice play on words. Yeah, thanks, you're welcome. <laughs> And here comes this little spiky one. So I guess my idea for this um, paper lattice was that it's kind of like a little trellis shelf thing that you hang your plants on. And oh my goodness, isn't it cute? So cute. Okay, next, we're gonna do just a little bit to the inside. So I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece. Look, here was, this isn't gray granite though. So I'm glad I didn't use that. That was the piece that I was missing. I've got a three quarter inch strip of the same designer series paper and my four by five and a quarter inch basic white layer. So I am just going to take this and put it right at the very edge of my card. There we go. Just like that. Yay. And then we can get this inside our card.
Oh my goodness, I can't hardly wait to send these out and share these with people because I think they are just so spectacular. Look at that, is that not totally cool, you guys? I absolutely love it. Okay, so don't forget that this is my um, online class. This is a class that Dina Barb and I do together. So if you order it from them, do not order the same class from me, okay? Um, Plentiful Plants, $108 gets you all the products plus a free online class. Um, it includes shipping, so it's a really good deal. Uh, $48 gets you some products with your nine card pre-cut cardstock pack. Now remember, if you get option number two, option number three, you need to have the designer paper, you need to have the stamp set and the dies. Um, everything shown in option one is what we use for the online class. So I just wanna make sure that you are aware of that. In your pre-cut cardstock pack, it's cardstock. There's no designer paper in there. If you order option one, you get the designer paper with it. Option two, you have to already have the designer paper or use something similar. But I'm telling you, this paper, it's really cool. <laughs> okay, next up, I want to show you the mail that I got. Oh my goodness, you guys send the most beautiful, beautiful cards and gifts and all kinds of fun things. So hang on, I'm gonna bring these in here. Here we go. This is from Karen Slowinski and look at how stinking adorable. This is the Party Puffins. You're the best. Isn't that sweet? Karen is on Dina's team and she's sending me a birthday card. That You are so sweet, Karen. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Sue Souza. Look at how pretty this is. I love that little scallop along the bottom there. I don't know where you came up with that idea, but I love it. Like, that is so creative. This is a birthday card from Sue Souza. Sue, thank you so much. This is just so pretty. Love all these cards that I get from you guys. Now, I can't remember if I actually showed this on my Facebook Live or if I showed it to the Stamp Happy Live class that I did. But this is a Call Me Old Fashioned Lake Life candle. And it smells, can you smell it? <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells like an old fashioned. I'm not even kidding. And I got this amazing card. Look at this card. Oh, I think I might have showed this to you last week, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget it. This is from Mary Stroman. And Mary is a member on my team. And Mary, can I just say, holy cannoli this card with the artistically inked suite is just amazing and this candle it makes me giggle every time now this is going to lead into another gift that i got that i just have to share with you guys here comes my birthday card and i love the ice cream set what a great use of this this is from dina for my birthday and I got this adorable t-shirt and I absolutely love it. Supper clubs, fish fries, old fashions. And this is Kelly right here. Three of my favorite things. And it was really cute. I had to share this with you too. The Midwest girl. Shop the Midwest girl. And um, you can shop them at Hey There at shopthemidwestgirl.com. I'm, I'm not, you know, I have no affiliation with this. But look at, they have their own tissue paper, the Midwest Girl, and I just thought it was so stinking cute. But thank you so much, Dina. I love this t-shirt. I've got an old-fashioned candle. I've got an old-fashioned t-shirt. How lucky am I? Okay, a few more cards here. Hang tight. Uh, this one is coming from, oh, I might have shown this one, Cynthia Campbell. Did I show this one already? I think I might have. I think I put my mail back in the drawer. But if I didn't, look at how cool that is. This is like a really fancy fold from Cynthia Campbell. Love this card. And then, let's see, do I remember? Look how pretty this is. 
This is from Danny Garola. Danny is a member of my team and this was for my birthday. Isn't that gorgeous? I loved that paper. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. And then, let's see, hang on. Don't forget, if you came on late, um, I made an announcement that I had some problems with my emails in the middle of June. If you emailed me and you didn't hear back from me, please email me again and I so apologize. Look at this shaker card. I think this is for, yep, this is from Jamie Lency. Look at how fun that is. All the stacks of ice cream and all the little bits. Absolutely adorable. So, so sweet. Jamie, you are the best. Thank you so much for that beautiful card. Next up, oh, we have this. This is called a pinwheel card and it actually stands up like this and you've got all the sides. I can't remember if I showed this or not, but we are going to be making one of these. I got one from um, Lisa Neeland, and I'm saving it. I haven't shown it to you guys because I'm saving it so I can do it on a Facebook Live. It's super, super cool, but how fun is that, right? I think you guys will love this. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And um, this one is from Rhonda McGuire. Rhonda, you are so sweet. Thank you so much for the super cool card. Love it. Next, look at this. Isn't this pretty? This is from Debbie Lindauer. And Debbie is sending me a thank you for the Quiet Meadow Bundle. She won this bundle as part of the Stamp Happy Academy card challenge. So each month, Dina Barb and I have been putting some type of a challenge on the Stamp Happy Academy live party. And that's if you are a premium member, you get into a special Facebook group. And um, Debbie won this whole bundle for participating in the challenge. Isn't that cool? Look how pretty that is. She used that glimmer paper. Oh, love it. And you are very welcome, Debbie. I'm so glad that you joined and won. Uh, let me see. Oh, I think I have one more card here. Look at how cute this is. This is from Coco Englehart. Now, I have to tell you, um, from Peggy Williams, right? Peggy Williams? Peggy? Uh, yep, Peggy Williams. Okay. It says, let me get this. Oh, I know. Let's move this out of the way. Look at how cute this card is. Yeah. It says, you're absolutely amazing. My grandma is the best card maker ever and you should know her. She gave you a card. She is Peggy Williams. I am her grandkid. Put this, please, on your live show. Coco Englehart, look at how cute that is. So, Peggy sent me a message and it says, Coco spent the week with me. We watched the live on Sunday night and she saw the card I sent you. She was impressed, so she made you a card. So she would be on my live show. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Oh my goodness. And Coco, can I just say your card is spectacular. You did an amazing job. Oh my goodness. So, so cute. Thank you so much, everyone. Now, I will be live again next weekend, July 25th on Sunday night. Um, I do have a little time off coming up and Haley, Jared and I and Molly and Steve and Val are going camping um, on July 1st. So I will probably not be live on July 1st. I just want to kind of give you guys a heads up on that one. But I will be live next Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. Please make sure you head over to my blog to check out all the online classes. I've got three new ones this month. Is it three or two? Yeah, bingo, this one, and the in symmetry. Oh, let me show you those cards. Let me show you what I have. Super califragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, I'm missing an action here because I can't even find them. Hang on. Oh, here they are. <laughs> like, I don't even know where they are. Look at this. This is the in symmetry bundle. Yeah, it's a punch and a stamp set and beautiful paper. So, so pretty. Let me see if I have another card. So that's one of my online classes. I'm getting ready to shoot the video tomorrow for that class. I'm also going to be shooting video probably tonight for this one. And then we have bingo too. So 
Um, lots of things going on this month. If you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps these free videos coming your way and helps me pay my bills. This is my current host code. I just changed it today. So, oh, somebody said, did you mean August? I don't know why my comments are coming through here, you guys. Hang on, let me catch up. Oh my goodness, I'm so far behind. Um, August 1st is what I meant. Do you mean August 1st? Did I say July 1st? I meant August 1st. I must have said July 1st. August 1st, yes, August 1st. I probably will not be live because we're going camping that week. So, um, thank you, sorry. Ooh, words are hard, right? Anywho, um, this is my current host code. This is a brand new host code. I just changed it today. If your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some um, benefits from Stampin' Up! called Stampin' Rewards, and I definitely want you to have those. As always, you can head right over to my blog, www.estampabub.com. You're going to find these cards there as soon as I get this video loaded up to YouTube. You're going to find these cards there with all the information about the gorgeous online class using the plentiful plants. Also, the online class, this is my kit class using the In Symmetry bundle of products. And we have bingo registration ends on Wednesday. So make sure you don't miss that. Bingo is so much fun. Um, and I have to get bingo cards made. Holy cow. I got a lot of things going on. Keeps me out of trouble, right? can't be drinking old fashions all the time <laughs> all right you guys thank you so much please give me a thumbs up hit that share button to share my video if you're watching later on YouTube please um, click on the notifications ring that bell you'll get notified every time I have a new video come up on there I so appreciate all of you guys thank you for spending a little bit of time on your Sunday evening with me and my inky shenanigans I will see you guys next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Have a fabulous weekend. Stay cool. Bye-bye.